y'all. We're on our way to a date. It's date night and this never happens, so I'm really excited. Are you excited, honey? Very. Where are we going? No clue. What? <laughs> Where are we going? CC's pizza. All you can eat. No. <laughs> Where are we really going? Sawgrass. Sawgrass. It's my favorite. And I'm fat. I'm gonna eat a big old steak. So excited. And we're cool. We have the little preferred card. So when we show up, they lay a red carpet out and they have our table waiting on us. So y'all should do that. Just kidding. Uh, we have preferred seating. So we don't have to wait very long. So that's cool. And the kids are with their babysitter, which if y'all don't have an awesome babysitter, y'all should get one. I don't know how we've survived nine years of parenthood without having a babysitter until recently because if we want to do anything, we just got to pay somebody to watch our kids instead of asking our family, which sucks sometimes. So, I'm excited. And she's awesome and the kids love her. And she's one of a triplet. That's even more awesome. So... check in with you guys later when we get our food. Peace out. We will. Oh yeah, we're going to show them. Why? Because they want to see how good food in Beaumont, Texas is. come here I always eat so much and I ate almost a whole entire piece of cheesecake with someone's help <laughs> their well, I, I have to say though our their cheesecake pieces are like five cheesecake pieces yeah that, that's I guess that's sad to say me and you ate both of them. Five pieces of cheesecake? <laughs> well, at least this, this is the probably the first time we ever, uh, what was that guy doing? Getting gas. <laughs> Poor thing. In a bucket? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, but this, this will probably be the best time, or the, not the best time, but the one and only time we ever left with extras. Like, we usually just leave our food there. But Yeah, because... Tell them why. You, you I don't know why. I really don't. Why do we, did we take it home? Because the, I have a there's a serious eating uh, disorder that I have. And what's a that? Sleep eating disorder, <laughs> and it's a very delicious <laughs> disorder that I have. Yeah. Um. Anytime we go out to eat and we have leftovers, I it doesn't matter what it is. It could be chicken fried steak, for example. <laughs> <laughs> We, I put it in the refrigerator and we go to bed in the next morning or whatever, like lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, because I eat it for breakfast. Uh, <laughs> at lunchtime or whenever I decide that I like some of my food, I open up the go box and there's just like there's this much left. left. Yeah. Or just the sauce is left. <laughs> or something. Or nothing is left. Because why, Wayne? <laughs> because. Um, the monster came at night and ate it. Because he gets up in the middle of the night and eats it. Or waits till I fall asleep and then he eats it. 
Which I'm not sure why, because I don't care. But maybe he's afraid. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody's popular. Uh, I guess he's afraid I'm going to eat it. I don't know. What's the problem? How am I afraid that you're going to eat your food? I'm just hungry, I guess. <laughs> well, there's like chips and cereal and no, it's... peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly? Your wife. Gonna go. Uh, go get our hair did. <laughs> Wait. Let's go get my... That is not appropriate to say. What? We don't do that. Well, I don't. I know that. Where are going? What are we gonna go do? I don't know. The, the big metropolis of Beaumont. <laughs> Usually on. Since there's so many things that are. There is. Better than fire. Yeah, you're right. Usually on date night we go to Sam's or <laughs> which Sam's is kind of like you people who live in bigger cities Costco you people or you all or whatever what you, you people you people that don't live in Beaumont they don't have a Sam's around here or where are they live I don't know I saw Sam's in Houston I'm sure they have a Sam's other places anyway it's similar to Costco but it's called Sam's we usually go to Sam's or to Target or like that where we actually can walk around and pay attention to what we're doing. So we don't have 17 <laughs> kids. Yeah. I'm trying to say. Or oh, well Eden feels like 17 kids, sorry. Yeah, Eden by herself is, is crazy. But she takes up to her dad. I don't think so. <laughs> anyway. One day you two people we will have to uh have a personal conversation. I will post a video. What? Of the reason why Eden is the way she is is because of her mom. Oh, I don't think so. Unrelentless. Don't doesn't give up on anything. And those are good we'll do, qualities. We'll do anything to make sure she gets her way. Those are good and qualities. So, in a stomping person. feet, doing a temper tantrum. What? I'm talking about Atlanta, not Eden. I don't think so. <laughs> Wayne, go buy me a coach purse. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah! Just joking. According to him, that's supposed to be my reaction whenever he tells me no. It is. Which is not true. Wait till you he, get stopped. When was the last time you told me no? <laughs> and what happened? I don't know. Okay. I'm sure you cried for a week. I don't think so. Where are we going? I don't know. I, I, we discussed maybe getting a pedicure, but apparently Wayne thinks going to get a $20 pedicure is going to make us broke, so... <laughs> <laughs> Even though we just spent ninety dollars on a meal, but yeah, you know, it was good. Twenty dollars will break the bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, they always charge more for the male pedicure. Because look what? at your feet. People don't want to see my feet. They really don't. Oh, I'm gonna film it if we no. go. Those little uh... people want to see what real men feet look. Like. No, they don't. They don't want to throw up while they're watching a video. But you know they what? They might be eating or something. My teeth, which would have been, been, would have been real honky tonk. Yeah. Hey y'all, you got we someone... just ate your salt grass. <laughs> you did. You just you had some on your your forehead. Oh you yeah. Wanna, yeah. Somehow you got it up there. Oh. You, know, you were well, just too busy destroying the cheesecake. I just shoved my face in it like my first birthday. Oh, there's a cop. I think they're gonna get us. What? Don't show. freak me out. It's not illegal to vlog. <laughs> Vlog and driving will be banned in the next few weeks. I'm sure it will. Anyway, I can't see because it sends my face. Check out later. Going to the mall? Okay, so where do we just go? Uh, the mall. The mall. Parkdale Mall. And what did we learn from this shopping experience? You like to spend money on clothes or pajamas? Pajamas? Yeah, pajamas. No, not pajamas. Um. No, what else do we learn about you? About me? Mm -hmm. Oh, that I cannot wear skinny jeans? There's a sight. Okay, I wouldn't say skinny jeans, so to speak, but. Are you calling me fat? No, okay. Do y'all ever feel like you get to a certain point, like in life, and like you can't shop at certain places anymore? 
Well, Wayne tried to go get some pants from, where was it? Uh, Hollister. Hollister. Hold on, here, take this one. You can film me while I take my jacket off. Um, Ooh. <laughs> he tried to go get some pants from Hollister. Why don't you tell him what happened? Well, I don't feel like it. Why? Because. Okay, well, <laughs> apparently everyone who shops at Hollister weighs 100 pounds and doesn't have any muscle. Is that the appropriate word? I think that's what's in now, though. Yeah. Well, anyway, so Wayne, Wayne is a muscular man, and he's not fat. No, don't don't take me wrong here, but he has some meat on his bones, but it, good meat. And uh, he can't buy, he can't even buy pants from Hollister anymore. So I kind of feel like that you get to a certain age and you can't really buy clothes from certain places anymore. And so. I mean, what what is that certain age though? Like if I was. If I was, well, you know, okay. Because I'm turning 30 this year. I mean, is 30 years old, or I guess it, should it be 25 that you can't, like, it, once you hit 25, you can't shop at Hollister anymore, or is it 30? Well, I don't necessarily think, or, okay, maybe I'm trying to say once you get a certain body type. Mm. Or but what if the thing is, is what if you lose all that weight and then you get, not lose all that weight, but then you don't have as much muscle or... And plus, like, the clothes there, like, the basic clothes, like, their basic things are appealing to me, like, you know, their hoodies and stuff, but their shirts, like, they didn't have regular... They say things that, like... Yeah, uh, that, or they're, like, a piece of string. I don't know. Maybe anyway... Guess, maybe it is a, at an age... They need a, a teenager mall, and they need a adult mall. So, I think that's the only place that we can shop at from now on. Sears? <laughs> What's Sears' slogan? I think only for old people. <laughs> only they if you at, wear the pins. They, all, they open at like 4 a.m. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Depends, has anybody seen the Depends commercial for men? That's the most hilarious commercial ever, and I'm totally buying Wayne some. I would not wear any. Because they say that they're slim enough that fit underneath the They fit underneath your jeans. jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Not those Hollister jeans, though. <laughs> no, it could be those Hollister skinny ass jeans. Oh. But I couldn't even see myself wearing skinny jeans. I don't. Well, they probably. If you ever put a pair of skinny jeans on, you would have never to cut them, them off. I would never get them You'd off. have to cut them off. Oh God. But my thing is, is that are, can you be 30 years old and still get Express stuff? Yeah. But is it Hollister or is it just made and made I think it's for, like Hollister and Abercrombie are generated to a to younger crowd. Kids. Which is fine, but I mean, and even if you were our age and you wore those clothes, I mean, I don't, wouldn't see a problem with it, but like, I'm... I'm just gonna be honest. I mean, I'm not like the thinnest person ever, and I really don't think that I would be able to even fit in a large size. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not fat. I mean, I'm plump. <laughs> I don't know. I think they just they. I'm happy. They, they gear it toward, you know, adolescence. I guess. I mean, that's I don't know. Much so how I felt. Yeah. So instead, I mean, we, nobody was in there that was our age. No. So instead, we bought Edison some new pajamas because. Well, they're like, tell them like what happened whenever I brought the jeans out and I went to go put them back on the shelf and the guy goes, well, how'd they fit? Yeah. It was a guy like half. This my guy size. was like tiny. He had to be 100 pounds. He was tiny. And it was like, well, are you looking for jeans that are loose fitting? Kind of like. And he said, well, I get jeans at this place. And I'm thinking, dude, you could probably wear a trash bag. You could wear fine. jeans from Gap Kids. Yeah, he looked like he shopped at the Baby Gap. Yeah. But, I mean, don't give me advice if you're not, I don't know. We're also looking for um, a Big Brother shirt for Edison for when the time arises. And we were not successful. Jim Bree said they had some 
<laughs> on their website. Okay, and get this. Okay, me and Wayne both heard this. And tell me if this is ridiculous. Okay, they called like Crazy Eights, which is like a um, sister store. It's like a sister store too. Which was, I didn't realize they were right across yeah. the, uh, yeah. the way. We could have just walked over there. Okay, so they're like the sister store to Jim Breen. So she said, let me call over there and ask them if they have a Big Brother shirt, you know, and maybe you can go over there and get it. So I was like, okay. Which it's, was only 20 steps away. Yeah, it was like right across the mall. And so she says, yeah, they have two. They have one that's three to six months. And, a Big Brother one. And six to nine months that's Big Brother. How the flip are you a Big Brother when you're three to six months, maybe six to nine months, like if your mom created a new one immediately coming home from the hospital? <laughs> in the hospital. Or while they're still in the hospital? Excuse me, Doctor. Or, somewhere up? Hold on. Or you just, I don't even know how to say this right, so I'm not going to say it. But really, like a Big Brother shirt that's six to nine months or three to six months? Anyway, we weren't successful. I'm still, I'm, I'm still not completely 100% positive what or how or when or whatever, when how we would tell someone or people that we were having another baby, but I still want him to have one, and anyway, I'll probably have to pay $20 for somebody to make one. When is, I mean, you know how they have, like, certain seasons, like, we were at Jimbery and they were at football stuff, like, football, everything. I don't else. think a shirt like that I mean, has a season. My thing is, is I mean, when did Jim Marie think it should come out with a season? What, the nine months after Fifty Shades of Grey came out or something, or what? Yes. Did, I mean, literally, y'all, seriously, like, literally, literally figuratively, literally, 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 literally. You mean figuratively. Figuratively. <laughs> you, your head blew off. Literally. Um, how I met your mother. Everybody needs to watch it. Yes. Uh, I know 17 people that, that found out they were pregnant in the past week, four weeks. Like in the past month. 17 people. Yeah. That's crazy. People are bored. It's not hurricane season yet. Oh gosh, y'all. And there's like a hurricane or whatever. Not a hurricane. Ernesto. And then his name is What? Alberto. I don't know. Umberto? Don't no, Umberto was like, hold on. Ernesto, I guess. Ernesto. Okay. He's about to... Anyway, um, let's just it. pray he doesn't come here because now that I'm a homeowner, yeah, hurricanes right. scare the out of me. I, want, I like my stuff in my house, but I don't want it to go away. And we just had a uh, tree land on our house last year. Yeah, and y'all remember last year. Yeah, that was fun. A year ago from the first of this month, a tree fell on our house. And that was the most scary thing ever. But anyway, this has been a wonderful date night. We got a lot accomplished. We just enjoyed the conversation Very that much. was yeah. to ourselves. And this has been my vlog every day in August, day three. I, I really hope I can make it through all this. I don't think you, you, got, you got 31 days of August. No, I, I'm, I'm three days down. Wow. You're dedicated. I'm going to make it. You sure? Are you sure? And you know what? What? Mark my word. I'm marking it. The end of this month. Uh-huh. Or sometime in this vlog every day in August. Yes. Something awesome is going to happen. Really? Yeah. Like... What? I don't know. You think so? Something awesome. Vlog every day in August. It's called Beta. Beta? Vlog every day August. Are we really that lazy? This, this yeah. Kind of, us people in, make an us YouTube bed. people are lazy. Everything? Yeah. Lazy? We are. Think about it. Some of us are so lazy that our actual job is to make a video every day. That sounds... But those people but are really to, smart. Then you have to edit it and everything yeah. else. So, I mean, that sounds That's like what Courtney... Courtney puts all of her... My friend like Courtney from Kyle and Court. She literally films all day... Really? Shut up. Films all day 
and then once everybody's in bed, she edits and puts her video up. She's so awesome. Courtney, you're such a hard worker. She is. We love you, Courtney. We love Courtney. And Kyle. Yeah, we love Courtney and Kyle, but man, I don't know how she does that. She's a superwoman. She is. Anyway, well, we've had a wonderful date. Aside from Wayne didn't, Wayne didn't buy me my coach purse. And I did not fit in those Hollister jeans. So, we should have made a bet. But. Literally. <laughs> the good news <laughs> is that I'm literally. going shopping tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah, without me. <laughs> without Wayne. Uh, so, <laughs> so, who, who knows? knows what I'll come up with. Yeah. And she'll be home before me, so she'll have plenty of time to hide whatever she wants. Have I ever hid a purchase from you? No. Okay. Because like usually I, I put it on my shoulder and prance around the house so you notice about it. Right. Notice it. Why are you holding that new purse? Oh. It's still got a tag on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Tell them bye, honey. Bye, honey. He loves y'all.